Hey guys, welcome back to Glam Finds. I'm here with another fragrance review. And this fragrance is like probably one of the nicest bottles out there. It's going to be from the house of Jean Paul Gaultier, Le Beau. Now obviously the juice inside here is a really beautiful like turquoise color. You can probably see that. It's really nice. Um, the bottle that turquoise and gold color is kind of why I wanted it, but also I wanted it because this is a coconut fragrance. Now when this fragrance opens up, you're going to get a lot of coconut and bergamot with a little bit of vanilla in the background. And it's really nice, really tropical, kind of reminds you of a tropical vacation. I got this because I thought it would add to my summer stash of coconut fragrances, which is ever growing, because I love coconut. I mean, who doesn't? But... Although it does start out that way, and it'll stay that way for a little bit, when this dries all the way down, this is a Tonka bomb with that coconut in the background. So it's kind of just a Tonka with vanilla and coconut, but again, the Tonka dominates everything. Here's how I know that. I sprayed it on my shirt. I was wearing it out with friends. We went out during the day, and it was definitely pretty potent because one of my friends, when she was saying hi to me, she said, you smell really good. And she's a frag head. It was a uh, Tammy, you guys probably already know her, Tammy Loves Fragrances on Instagram. So if she says it smells really good, I 125% believe that. That compliment to me is gold. So I was really into it. I was like, okay, I got a compliment from Tammy. That's pretty big. But when I got home, Later in the day, I was changing. I threw the shirt that I was wearing, a button down, on my bed. And then I went out with my friends for the remainder of the day, kind of hung out a little bit. When I went back to my room at night, I was just like, what is that Tonka smell? It's a really beautiful Tonka. It's very strong. The entire room just had this really creamy Tonka scent, which was really good. But again, Tonka. Not necessarily what I was exactly expecting, um, and by the time I had gotten home, I couldn't even smell any fragrance on me, which is kind of normal. I go nose blind pretty quickly to a lot of things. Apparently Tonka is one of them. So I investigate the situation, find the shirt, and realize, okay, Jean-Paul Gaultier LeBeau apparently dries down to this Tonka. And I was really impressed because it's a really nice Tonka. However, it's not as summery in the dry down, in the late dry down as you would think. It kind of goes more to the transitional seasons. So yeah, in the opening, you're gonna get a creamy coconut with vanilla and a little bit of that bergamot, but the bergamot, again, is really only in the beginning stages. But then the vanilla and the coconut kind of go to the background and the tonka kind of takes over and it's this creamy, beautiful fragrance. Performance though, you're gonna go nose blind quickly, but I did not spray that much for me. I probably sprayed like 10 sprays of this all day because I sprayed it on clothes and the next day when I was unpacking my stuff, I'm gonna say about 36 hours after I sprayed it on the shirt, when I was unpacking the shirt and throwing it in the hamper, super strong. So this is stronger than I initially thought. I thought it was pretty weak and a lot of people had told me it was weak. So I was like, I didn't even expect much. But no, this thing goes pretty hard. In terms of longevity, it stays pretty long. Projection, you're gonna get at least an arm's length, which more than enough, I don't need to project way more than that. So I would say it's a pretty good performer. I would say above average, actually. Who can wear this? Definitely unisex. I wouldn't say it's overly masculine. I wouldn't say it's feminine either. I think it's gonna depend on your skin type, but I would definitely say it's unisex. Coconut, vanilla, tonka, those notes really could go either way. In terms of age though, maybe not too mature. However, I don't think it's crazy sweet. It is definitely sweet. If you do not like sweet fragrances, this is definitely not for you. I think a younger crowd is going to love it. But if you are more mature and you like creamy sweet fragrances, Again, not cloying or anything like that. I think this is a really good choice. And again, just the bottle alone is really nice. So I think pretty much anyone can wear this. Just know what you're like when it comes to fragrance notes. Where you could wear this, this is definitely like a clubbing fragrance, but I also find it to be pretty versatile because again, I just wore it out 
uh, listening to live music with some friends. I've worn it in the heat before. No one has given me any bad comments or anything. I've worn it to work. I feel like you can wear it pretty much anywhere. However, depending on where you work, maybe avoid the work thing. But I think if you spray lightly, this would be a really sexy day night fragrance. It smells really good, creamy, sweet. No one's gonna dislike this. I can guarantee that. I can't really guarantee that. I don't think they'll dislike it, but there's there's no guarantee. I wouldn't really wear it to anything formal because it is gonna be too sweet, but going out with friends in the evenings, this is gonna definitely rock. I think it'll rock in most occasions. Just be aware that this is a sweeter fragrance, but I do feel like it does have just enough freshness to be able to be pulled off and a little more than just like a clubbing or evening situation. Season wise, so initially I bought this for summer, but to me, this is a transitional season fragrance. Like this is spring and fall. If you have a little bit of wind out there, maybe it's a little bit cooler. I think this is gonna do better because that nice Tonka dry down is perfect for just a little bit of briskness. I really like it when I go outside and the cold air hits this. It smells amazing. I don't think you're going to dislike it. But I do think you can wear it on summer nights as well because I didn't find it to be cloying. Again, I wore it in the heat before and no negative comments. You could probably wear this year round and based on the performance on me, you could probably wear it in the winter. I would probably go with something a little heavier in the winter, but I think you could. So to me, versatility wise, this is a beast. Compliments, again, I got a compliment from a frag head. That's the best compliment I'll ever need. So then this is gonna be a compliment monster in my book. Price point, it's an average designer price. However much I find it for, I'll link it down below. Jump Paul Gautier, the line tends to be around the same, like 60 to 70 range. Unless it just dropped, then it's more. Sometimes you can find them cheaper. If I do find it cheaper, which I think I do know where to get it for a little less, I'm gonna link that down below. If you've tried this, let us know the situations in which you wore it compliments, seasons, everything. People read the comments, guys. It's a pretty big deal. You're gonna be helping somebody out, so let me know down below. Like this video if you liked it. Be subscribed to my channel. Hit that notification bell to get notified when I drop a new video. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye!